Good everyone, you're watching Radio Fixes. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix Windows Update Error 0x800 in your Windows machine. Now, there are a couple of steps which you could try to get this issue resolved. Now, the first step to resolve this issue is to go ahead and check your internet connection. Make sure you have a stable internet connection before you download or install any Windows update. At the same time, what you could do is you can go ahead and restart your router and then try to check if you have a stable internet connection in and then try to download and install the updates and check if your issue has been resolved in case if your issue has been resolved well and good you don't need to try the next step now the ne now the next method is to go ahead and temporarily disable antivirus or firewall on your computer in case if you have a norton mcafee or any other third party application go ahead and disable the re real time protection by doing a right click on the taskbar and then do a right click and then choose the option which says turn off real time protection at the same time in case if you're using a windows security what you could do is you can do a right click on the start button and then click on settings and then navigate to privacy and security and then on the right hand side locate for windows security click on open windows security under this make sure you go ahead and look for virus and threat protection and under virus and threat protection you may go ahead and click on manage settings and here you can temporarily disable real time protection by turning off the real time protection once this is done you may close this window and then try to download and install the updates and check if your issue has been resolved in case if your issue has been resolved well and good you don't need to try the next step now the next method is to go ahead and repair the corrupted system files on the computer to do this you will have to Click on the search window and in the search window you may go ahead and type cmd you will see the best match for the command prompt do a right click on the command prompt and then click on run as administrator in case if you get a user access control prompt you may click on yes or continue on the screen once you have the command prompt open you will have to go ahead and type the command to run the sfc scan and the command is sf the command is sfc space forward slash scan now and hit enter so this will go ahead and execute the sfc scan on your computer it will take about uh, five to ten minutes to complete the whole process once this is done you may close the command prompt window restart your computer and then go ahead and try to install the updates and see if it is working so you can do a right click on the start button and then click on settings and then click on windows update and then check if you are able to install, download and install the updates by clicking on check for the updates. In case if you are able to install the updates, well and good, you don't need to try the next step. Now the next method is to go ahead and free up disk space from Windows. To do this, you will have to navigate to the system section by doing a right click on the start button and then clicking on settings. Once you are on the settings, you may go ahead and click on system. And then on the right hand side, you will have to locate for storage, click on storage. And then you will have to scroll down and look for cleanup recommendation. You may go ahead and click on cleanup recommendation. So to clear up the system storage, you may go ahead and choose the options for older files. And also if there are any other files listed here, you may go ahead and select these files and then click on cleanup. When you get a prompt, for a cleanup go ahead and click on continue and that will go ahead and delete the custom files or any unnecessary files on the computer once this is done you may close this window restart your computer and then check if your issue has been resolved in case if your issue has been resolved well and good you don't need to try the next step the next method is to go ahead and reset windows update component on your computer to do this, you will have to open command prompt. So in the search window, you may go ahead and type CMD. You will see the best match for the command prompt. Do a right click on command prompt and then click on run as administrator. If you get a user access control prompt, you may click on yes or continue on the screen. Now, once you have the command prompt, you will have to sequentially execute couple of command. One command, you, sh you will go ahead and begin with the windows update services command i will mention those command in the video description you can copy those command and paste it in the command prompt window by doing a right click hit enter 
once this command has been successfully executed the second command is to execute the crypto services copy and paste the command and hit enter and the third command is to stop the bit services right click hit enter and the next command is to stop the windows server paste the command and hit enter in case if you get any error message you may go ahead and ignore that particular error message and the next command is to go ahead and rename the software distribution hit enter in case if there is a folder it will go ahead and rename the software distribution in my case the file or the folder does not exist exist that's the reason it says cannot be found and the next command is to go ahead and rename the cat root folder hit enter and then you will execute the command to start the services which you stopped earlier once you have sequentially executed all these command you may close this window restart your computer and then check if your issue has been resolved in case if your issue has been resolved well and good you don't need to try the next step now the next method is to go and use the windows update troubleshooter to do this you can do a right click on the start button and then click on settings once you're on the settings page you may go ahead and click on system and then on the right hand side you may go ahead and click on troubleshoot under troubleshoot you may go ahead and click on other troubleshooter here you will have to go ahead and locate for windows troubleshooter that would be listed right under most frequent or it would be listed under other it depends on how many times you have utilized this troubleshooter click on windows update troubleshooter Follow the step-by-step -step instructions on the screen to complete the or execute the Windows Update Troubleshooter. Once the all the steps are completed, you may close this window, restart your computer and then try to check if you are able to install the updates. So you can to install the updates, you can do a right click on the start button and then click on settings and then click on Windows Update. Go ahead and check for the updates, see if there are any updates to be installed. If there are any updates to be installed, go ahead and install those updates, close this window, restart your computer and that should fix the problem. So all this step should definitely fix the problem. In spite of trying all this step and if you are still not able to install the updates, leave me, update, leave me a comment in the comment section so that I can come up with the possible solution. I hope this video was useful. In case if you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Have a great day.